today we are going to answer the question about differences between physical media, like CDs, and that same digital media stored on a hard drive. Do they sound different? And if so, why? And our question comes from Jason in Orlando, Florida. Hey Paul, is there a difference between physical CDs and rip CDs by a computer? My understanding is that CDs store pits and to play this on a computer it converts the pits into ones and zeros. And if that's accurate, is there an audible difference playing the direct CD on a good transport versus a computer created file from the CD? Well, that can be a little tricky is it? Um, because ostensibly no there there really isn't the the file on the CD and the file the actual bits on the hard drive are the same um, unless there's some error but let's just assume that there's no error and so so now imagine it wasn't an audio file imagine that it was a word file imagine that you you had written your great novel and I'm working on mine Confessions of an audiophile. So someday I'm going to be able to tell you, <laughs> go out and buy my book because, uh, damn, that's hard. All right, here's where Paul gets, gets off. So, you know, I write every day, and I've been doing it for five or six years, and I'm certainly no great writer, but I'm trying to put this book together, Confessions of an Audiophile, and, I, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's, it's coming along. But then it goes to an editor. And this editor, um, in, in particular, um, he's just a great editor, the editor of Stereophile, Richard Leonard. And, oh, he's, you know, you didn't do this. I mean, there, my last chapter had 309 comments, and that didn't include any of the corrections. So I've got to go back on these comments, and I've got to fix all this stuff. But, man, that's hard. I do not envy writers that make a living writing because it's really hard. How did I get off on that? Anyway, oh, <clears throat> if, if, if this were a word file. So imagine my book is on a CD and then imagine that it's also the same document, this word file is on a hard drive and then maybe it's also on a hard drive somewhere up uh, like in my Google Drive, okay? All three of those files are essentially the same because when I download it, the very same words come up in the very same spacing and all the formatting, everything's there. So they are all the same. And the same can be said on a digital audio file. Imagine if I were to go to iTunes and download my audio file uh, and, uh, and then, well, it wouldn't be the same because that's all compressed, but you get what I'm saying. If somebody had a ripped version of a CD up in the cloud, or they had it on a hard drive, or they had it on a CD. Those bits are the same. Now, that out of the way, so all the naysayers can be going, what are you going with this? Well, I'll tell you where I'm going with this. Yeah, they sound different. Why? If the bits are the same, how can they sound different? Part of the answer is that the delivery system between a hard drive and a CD are very different. And the mechanisms at play are very different. And what that can result in is different differences in timing, okay? So now, imagine, let's, let's look and see how this actually works. The source device, in this case, let's, let's look at a CD player, okay? The source device of a, the CD player, what is it doing? Well. It's spinning up at about 600 RPM, the CD. It's then reading with a laser these bits. It's organizing them, and then it's spitting it out with a master clock. So in any of these systems, what, regardless of what the player might be, and, and regardless of what the source is, that source provides the master clock that then runs the DAC. Okay, it's not the other way around. DACs don't provide clocks. They take their clocks from the source. Now, imagine that I am, instead of playing from a CD, I am playing from my hard drive. Well, in that case, 
whatever the hard drive is connected to, and we're going to assume that it's a computer, now that computer is providing the clock. Moreover, a computer does more than just provide the audio data and the clock. It also has the lovely job of contributing a whole bunch of digital noise and hash that we have to deal with. And I know there are people going, oh boy, you're going to tell me that noise makes a difference and jitter makes a difference. Yeah, sorry, it does. So if you stream from a computer or you stream from a CD player, you're going to have different levels of noise, different levels of jitter, different levels of uh, accuracy on the master clock, and all of that is going to make a difference in the way the DAC performs and what you will eventually hear on a good system. Now, I know people that go, well, I've tried those two and there's no difference. Well, okay. You probably don't have a system that displays those differences. If I take, you know, a, a little crappy pair of speakers, and these are okay, these are my little rocket speakers. Um, these are decent. These are good sounding little bookshelf speakers. You can, you can see them back here. They're, my buddy Mark Shifter made them, and they're, they're really good. Tweeters upside down, you know, and you got the, the woofer here. But these are not highly resolving speakers. The, these speakers, they'll show up small differences. Yeah, I can hear some of that. But when I go to the big system in Music Room 1, then all is revealed. I hear all those differences, where with these, they're, you know, they're masked. And, and as you take the system into a lower resolving set of of speakers into a uh, w with a crappy little amp or let's say you haven't paid attention to everything that in the high-end system well yeah you probably won't hear a lot of differences um, just like um, you know eating food that is just the lower and lower quality you get you know pretty soon all the mashed potatoes taste the same um, all the stuff is you know as we get down in quality in, 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 in handcrafted um, attention to detail, we won't hear that. And if that's what you want, go for it. That's great. But if you have a high-end audio system with great resolving power, you will absolutely hear a difference between that. And that's pretty much why. Thank you for the question. Talk to you tomorrow.